but let's go right. Yes. So, hello, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna demo ride two bikes, two KTMs. So I'm gonna demo ride the uh, 890 Adventure and the 390 Adventure. And Luke, what are you gonna demo ride? No, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've chosen uh, two bikes uh, a while ago and uh, I will see what I'm going to ride, but it will be KTM. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have the 1290 and also one of the smaller adventure uh, yeah, bikes. The 690, I thought. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Um, unfortunately, the weather's not that great. I think it's 13 degrees, uh, clouded, and with the occasional rain. So that's a bit of a bummer. But I really look forward to the uh, to the KTM's to ride those. Um, I do have a bit of a soft spot for KTM, especially the uh, the 1290 Super Duke. Uh, that's a bike I really like. So, uh, to me, it looks like the ultimate hooligan bike. That's also why I never want to ride on it. <laughs> because I probably don't keep my license very long. But KTM in general, it's uh, yeah, it's a brand that goes its own its own way. Reliability sometimes is a bit of an issue, uh, but they're a lot of fun to ride uh, from what I've heard. So it will be the first time riding KTMs. The full videos uh, for the 390 and the 890 will be a separate upload. I will put in some highlights uh, later on. And also the day it's uh, hosted by Goedhart Motoren in Bodegraven in the Netherlands. There are a few more demo days uh, with different dealers so you can look that up and I think the side mission for today uh, Luke wants to see if he can find another suit so it's already 12 years old so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and as you may remember uh, yeah my gloves suffered from a lot of mold due to the Red Bull in my top box so I currently just have my winter gloves and my summer gloves so maybe I will have a look if they have some nice waterproof summer gloves. The gloves. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully it stays dry. That will be pretty pretty happy. That would take a bit of a scenic route to Bodegraven because I believe that the shop only opens at 12. And currently we're there at uh, 11:30, so we got a bit of time to kill. So we went on an adventure. <laughs> now we just took uh, one or two exits earlier and uh, go via back roads. Back roads. See if there's anything worth to explore. moments later. The brakes are great, they have a nice bite and a great view, they're absolutely amazing. Another nice thing on the bike is the clutch, which is hydraulically operated, which is way smoother and easier to do than the cable operated clutch on my own bike. A little longer than a few minutes later. And look at on the uh, 890. Ah, this is all easy to miss, it's not Maar kom voor de stuk binnen. Die, 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 die was uh, eigenlijk al wat verdaald, direct tegen de andere manier. Ja. Hier, uh, hier, wat dat betreft, voel je hier meer mee, zeg maar. Uh, ja. Maar het is steeds een uh, grap van ook weet je, daar ga je Ja. Ja, begrijpelijk. Ja, dat heb 
Dat zei ik al, eigenlijk onder de 3,5 is terecht die van Thijsdaai. En had je met de 12,90 denk minder, of niet? Wat? Met die 12,90 had je dat niet zo wel. Nee, dat had ik dan veel minder. Ik denk met deze iets wat meer uh, te zoeken, dan is die 12,90. Dat is die eigenlijk, uh, ja, misschien wel ook wat minder, uh, wat minder hard te reden vanwege, uh, vanwege de weer. Maar met deze boek uh, wat meer zoeken, wat meer opletten, wat meer... Uh, ja, het karakter van, van dat blok is denk ik wat hoogtoeriger van die uh, 890. En die 1290 hebben wat meer koppel denk ik, uh, ook onderin. En dat rijdt, vind ik wat... Ja, het, het rijdt wat uh, relaxter eigenlijk, uh, minder dan je er bij naald moet denken, zeg maar. Ja, dat is ook wel een beetje wat ik zeg. Ja, ik denk dat het wel een beetje wat ik zeg. Een Tour. Ik zie het ook wel weer lekker, hè? Zo'n quickshift, hè? Ja. Ja, lekker, hè? Ja, dat is niet verkeerd. Ik net alleen één keer fout, ik val de eerste met Ja, dat werkt niet. Many hours later. So we're now gonna head home. We also had a look inside at the uh, uh, clothing stores, both at the uh, outlet over here and the normal one. Uh, didn't succeed to find any gloves. Yeah, I found, found a set of gloves that were really nice, felt good. But I thought 180 euros for a set of waterproofs was a bit too much. So we take some back roads uh, towards home a lot more fun than the highway oh, I've got to get used to my own bike again so look what did you think of the bikes yes they were pretty nice uh, especially the 1290 was really really smooth the 890 was a bit more mad. <laughs> uh, was not, not so nice compared to the 1290. Didn't take all the balls. <laughs> I had to do between my own bike, uh, the Honda CBF 600 and the 890, I choose my own bike. But yeah. I have to choose uh, between all of the three, including the 1290. Uh, Definitely the 1290. Yeah. That was a bit the same experience. I had also the the 890 in terms of power and um, torque. It's more or less the same as the GS. It's maybe a little bit more powerful, but it was also a lot more nervous. And it, okay, maybe it was also due to the weather. But we didn't really ride it uh, up to it up in this rev range. But more on the low end of the uh, of the RPMs, um, and it didn't have the pickup uh, or the torque down there that GS had. Um, after that, I went to the 390, which is a lot less powerful than the the, the GS, also a lot lighter. But it was actually a pretty fun bike to ride. Uh, not really. Uh, yeah, you could. Uh, not really a lot of wind protection, but that's not, you know, too strange, of course. Uh, but for a small bike, usually these, uh, say the three, four hundred cc bikes, they're really entry level bikes uh, without a lot of options, uh, with a pretty questionable build quality. Um, but yeah, that was actually pretty pretty fun uh, I enjoyed myself a lot on that bike the only thing that I had was the quick shift that didn't function properly um, and that can be because of the fact that it's a single cylinder which is a bit more uh, yeah not as uh, polished and well balanced as uh, a twin 
Or it could be uh, just a matter of configuring. I don't know. But that was a bit, was the only downside. But I had a lot of fun on that uh, on a smaller adventure bike from KTM. So yeah, pretty pretty uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, personally, would have picked the 890. I think I'm more in line with uh, what Luke mentioned. Probably the 890 is uh, better, or the uh, 1290. Sorry probably a better pick, more comfortable, better for what we uh, intend to do with the bikes, which is a lot of touring and uh, some off-roading. But yeah. Um, then, Luke, do you want to tell about uh, whether or not you bought a suit? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I want to buy a new suit because it's already 12 years old, but I was uh, a bit overwhelmed <laughs> uh, while hanging out there, so uh, a bit difficult to tell uh, what I want and I want, I want to stand on it, so <laughs> I think a little, a couple of nights about it, so yeah, for the next time. <laughs> Yeah, so something to have a bit of a thought to think about a little bit. Because when we, uh, okay, I bought this suit already uh, six years ago. I bought this suit. But so I know that there's a lot more choice uh, than when we bought our first uh, suits 13 years ago. Uh, but yeah, it is um, basically where we had, li where there were like uh, maybe four or five racks of uh, motorcycle clothing, with the majority being leather in the past. Uh, now there's like three or four racks of uh, leathers, uh, uh, full leathers, and there's like 10 or 15 racks uh, of textile clothes, uh, technical clothes, and whatever. So. <laughs> A lot more to think about. So yeah, we spent a little bit of time uh, inside the store as well. Didn't film any of that because it's, uh, I don't know. It's also a pretty nice twisty road. Yeah. So it was wet. I thought, yeah, this could be a one nice road. Yeah. It's a bit like the gravel in the <coughs> corner. Yep. Just a little bit. Not too bad. But yeah. No, but uh, yeah, I, I did, uh, walked around this side a little bit, looked at uh, all the different bikes. But there's not a lot of, uh, also at Goodhart, they still have uh, a bit of second-hand uh, bikes. But not as much as they used to have in the past. Uh, and that's what you see with a lot of dealers um, nowadays, that they don't have a lot of uh, stock for second-hand bikes. Also, uh, for brand new bikes, it's uh, you don't have a lot of choice, uh, and that is, I think, due to the global crisis in the uh, the electronics, and a lot of people started riding again due to COVID. So yeah, that's also that took also quite a chunk out of the uh, secondhand offerings. Uh, I don't, I just have the route straight home, so. <laughs> And we're back again. Ja. Ah, ik kan ons wel voorgang geven, maar we gaan maar naar deze. Zo. 
Oh ja. Ah, ik wou toch even dat wegje proberen. <laughs> ja, groot gelijk. So yeah, that's uh, a bit more difficult at the moment if you're in the market for a, a different bike. So it will be a challenge for, for Luc when he's gonna look uh, when he sets his mind uh, on something. But never throw your old shoes away before you got new. <laughs> uh, I will be riding, but <laughs> when, when I have the new one, it's not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it for today. I really th think these kind of uh, demo days are really a lot of a uh, lot of fun, and of course they're quite eager, you know, to to uh, help you out and to uh, sell you one of these bikes. But it was not a in a unpleasant way. They also really were inter interesting in uh, the feedback uh, after the ride. So, really, really fun. Uh, also, uh, we didn't, didn't show that either, but uh, they also had a food truck <laughs> with some really nice cool chicken. Should have made a picture or uh, something for a home it, but yeah, okay, too bad. More luck next time. Uh, I think the viewers are here for the bike, not for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But all in all, good, li fun, li fun day. If there's anything you want to know about uh, any of the bikes, uh, first have a look at the uh, full video on the bikes. That will come up probably for I don't know before or after this uh, demo ride day. I don't know. Um, and then just drop a comment down below if you want to know anything. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye!